Luke will come to collect another weapon. What can I say? You know me very well. I'm currently working on a sword for another customer. I'll triple the price, if that means you can have mine done first. Consider it done. Thank you, Ogun. I appreciate your time. Hello, Shango. Hello, Oya. Ogun is a lucky man. Yes, he is. Everyone's luck runs out eventually. Let's go into the kitchen. I will pour you a beer. Ogun won't hear us in here. So what did you mean by eventually everyone's luck runs out? Come with me to my castle, Oya. I would never have an affair on my husband. Oh, I doubt that. If you weren't thinking about it, then we would still be outside instead of in here. So how do we do this? Simple. Three days from now, tell them you have a family emergency and you must leave for a while. And then, meet me by the lake. And from there, we'll head to my castle. I will do it. Good. What are you thinking about, my king? Things has really changed around here. The bad is now not weighing the good, and I don't like it one bit. You are the king. Do something about it. I will, but first I have to get to the root of the problem. That way it won't repeat itself. My king, if you don't mind me asking, what exactly is the problem that is bothering you? My name no longer holds the power it once did. When did that change? The moment you got here. Are you accusing me of something? No, calm down. All I'm trying to say is, from the moment you arrived here, that's when I noticed the changes occurred. But I'm not saying it's you. You better not be. There's no more red apples. Look like the king is going to have to settle for one green apple. He won't mind. An apple's an apple. Oh well. This place would run a lot better if we were in charge. What do you mean? Our brother has gone mad. He went from a great king to behaving like an evil dictator. He wasn't behaving this way until Oya arrived. You two have something you want to say to me. You're free to go this one time. But don't ever... Bring me a green apple again. Shango and I may be going away for a while. Someone will have to step up. The way I see it, there is two of you and only one throne. Which one of you wants it the most? Brother, I love you and respect you. But I must tell you, you become too power hungry. You put a man in the cage for giving you a green apple. Brother, that's not the king I know. So you two question the way I do things. Oya was right. I didn't want to believe it. But you two want to take my place. Brother, that's not true. I tell you what. If the two of you can defeat me, then the kingdom is yours. We wish not to fight you. Wrong answer. Brother, we can talk about this. You don't want to do this.
Shan Go is no longer the king. Oya, you must leave at once. And we are going to make sure Ogun knows about this. How did you find me? I followed you. You ran away without saying anything. I left to regroup. But I don't understand. Why did you follow me? Your brothers kicked me out of the kingdom. So why didn't you go back to Ogun? Why did you come here? Because I love you, Shango. Wherever you go, I go. I don't know what's gonna happen. All I know is, I'm going to the unknown. You won't be going alone. Then you better hold on tight. happened to us I can now move the clouds how is that possible we have been elevated so what do we do now I need you to use your powers of the wind to sneak into the castle then come back and tell me what's happening but make sure you're unseen I'll be waiting by the mountains two children came to me and said the king was on a road in the sky then that must mean he hung himself. You're right. What else could it be? Let's spread the word throughout the kingdom. So why are we going into the cave? It's one of my hideouts. Just in case of an emergency. Oh, there's a light in here. Let's keep moving. So what did you see? I overheard your brothers talking. They believe you hung yourself. Everyone talking about it. Good. We'll stay here and make our return in three days. They won't see it coming. Brother, what are you doing here? We thought you were dead. Yeah, we heard you hung yourself. Why would a powerful king such as myself do something that foolish? You are no longer the king. It's time for you and her to leave. Just turn around and leave. Please, spare yourself the embarrassment. You think it's that easy? I'm giving you one chance to reconsider. Or else. Or else what? That's me. If you too want to continue to be a part of this kingdom, then you'll deliver a message to Ogun. You'll make it known to him that the king did not hang himself. If you make it back alive, then your position will remain solidified. Oya, can you make sure they get there quickly? think they'll make it back not a chance Ogun will cook them for dinner they'll be okay they prove they can survive fire but speaking of fire how are you able to exhale it 
when you kissed me it's transfer i have that power too but we'll keep that as our secret i will never use it unless i have to thing you set up was making noise. Does that mean there's a big animal in the area for me to hunt? That thing is called an alarm. And no, it's not animal. It's an intruder. Who would be foolish enough to intrude on us? Okay, you take the river and I'll go through the woods and we'll meet at the field. It will make more sense to take the path as we get us to the field much quicker. No good. Eshu blocked the path. I tried twice, and both times rejected. Follow my lead. The third time would be a success. I got to see this. Watch, and you shall learn something. Oh, Goon, it's been a while. Yes. I wish our meeting was under better circumstances, but for now, we need to get through. We have intruders that we must deal with at once. Sure, you may cross as many times you need to. So you mean? Yes. You going to? No. How did you know what I was going to say? I didn't. Those Ashongome. Are you sure? Take a look for yourself. Do you think we'll make it back to the kingdom? Yeah, in pieces. But how? He has a weapon that can chop a man into nine pieces with one hit. Those are Shango's men. But why did they come here? Your guess is as good as mine. Whatever this is, I love it. I can see all the way on the other side of the field. It's called binoculars. I see them talking. It seems like they're going over their plan. I see. So what do we do? To run them, then we get our answer. Okay. I want you to set a spear strike without hurting them. Then head to the wood and use your arrow hitting the cylinders to blow up your wall of security. I'll sit up by the mountains, leaving them no choice other than to come to me. They missed with the spears. It was deliberately. Let's take cover by the wall. So much for the plan. Let's head for the mountains. So in there at once. I heard you to gain power over the kingdom after Shongo hung itself. Congratulations. But my question is why did you come here? Were you in need of weapon? We were forced to come here, beyond our will, to deliver a message to you. Oh! We were sent to inform you that the king did not hang himself. That's why you took him. What does that have to do with me? We weren't sent by him. We were sent by them. I don't get you. Let me ask you a question. Where is Oya? She's with her family. What does she have to do with this matter? Why is my wife's name coming out of your mouth? Then Shango must be her family. That's where she's been the whole time. It's a lie. 
Let me guess. Right after you made the last weapon for Shango. That's when she went to her family. Am I right? Enough. I believe you. But if you are lying, I will make my next weapon from your flesh. Understood. I want you to, to deliver a message for me. Tell Shango to meet me by the river. And I will show him why a warrior is much stronger than a king. What is that? And where is Ogun getting all this metal from to create all of these things? The message has been delivered, but Ogun has a message of his own. He said meet him at the river, and he's coming alone. Good. Then so will I. Where are you headed to? The year 3047. There's a force field that I need to collect. It will be very effective against Shango fire. Why you never let me come to the future with you? I need you here to protect the village. But you will get to come soon. Mother, is everything okay? Oh no, that I sense troubles coming soon. What, what kind of trouble? And where will this trouble be? Next to the river, Shango and Ogu come to kill each other. But why? I thought they were friends. It's over, the love of a woman. Is it me the fight over? No! It's Oya. Then they can kill each other for all I care. Two fools. Am I not more beautiful than she is? They are the two mightiest of our kind. We will need them both in the future.
for what's to come, they must be stopped. Let me guess. You want me to be the one to stop them? Yes, dear. Fine. But I'll do it my way. I will have them both eating on it at the palms of my hands. hang yourself. I must admit, I'm quite disappointed. You may be disappointed, but Oya's not. So it is true, you collected my weapon, then collected my wife. Yes, it was in that exact order. I am a man of justice, and what you have done was a crime. And for that, you must die. You won't be the first man that I set on fire. But you'll be the first man that I strike with lightning. And you'll be the first person I test my drone on. Your what? What is that? And where are you getting all these things? the future, but you, my friend, won't be around to see it. Wait, how are you doing this? That's not me doing this. I don't trust you, but I do believe you. As long as I've known you, I've never heard you lie once. Whatever this is, we have to stick together for now. second thought I'll go first your beauty is blinding who might you be and why must you interrupt us I'm Oshun daughter of Yemujai daughter of who Yemujai she's someone you don't want to upset she controls the water and she's very protective but why? I don't understand. She sent me to stop the two of you from destroying each other. Something is supposed to happen, and the two of you will be much needed. Well, until then, I'm willing to come to an agreement. We'll finish our battle another day. Is that a deal, Ogun? Mother, I've done what you asked of me. And now, you are trying to decide which one you want to be with. How do you know? A mother always knows. What do you think is best? Ogun is better choice. He's hardworking, a protector of justice, and a leader of our kind. Is Shango not all of those things? Yes, but his tasteful loss for women is much. You would be in constant battles with other women all the time. Thank you, mother. I made my decision. I chose Ogun. Good. But you and I both know the day will come that your curiosity for Shango will get the best of you. have room for one more? Oshun, I wasn't expecting you. How did you find me? Your work makes a lot of noise through the villages. I just follow the sounds. I thought Shango would have worked his charm on you yet. 
If I wanted Shango, then that's where I would be. Really? So what makes you come here? I came to assist you. I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. My victory is your victory. Your victory is my victory as well. Mother, is everything okay? No, something doesn't feel right. I can feel vibrations. There is a disturbance in my waters. The water looks fine. I don't see anything wrong. The problem isn't here yet, but something is coming. Is there anything I can do to help? Yes, make Ogun aware that I may be in need of his assistance. Please travel to the future to gather technology. What is that? I don't know, but it will be gone for a while. I'll ask Shango to assist. Don't do anything foolish. I'm not. I'm only asking him for help, nothing more. What's happening? A change is coming and it's headed our way. Is the change for the best? I'm afraid not. So our waters are in trouble. Not just the waters. The land will be invaded by colonizers. Then we must get everyone together. They must be stopped. If this was anything else, it would work. But this is the inevitable. And we can't stop it. Soon, what do I owe the pleasure? Can we go somewhere and talk in private? It's very important. What's so important that you had to come here? The water is bring trouble. My mother needs your help. Why must it be me? Why not Ogun? I thought of you, but maybe you're right. I'll go look for Ogun. Wait, wait, you don't have to do that. I'll do it. Why do you smell like honey? Were you clean in the beast nest? Were you wrestling with a beer? No, I wasn't. Then it came from ocean. She only came for my help. 
She informed me the danger is coming our way. That's her problem. I want to know why you have honey on your ear and in your hair. Um, it, it, it's getting late. I must lay down. I have a busy day ahead of me tomorrow. Explain. It must have come off when she hugged me as a thank you for agreeing to help. Nothing more. You've been gone for a while. Oh good. How long have you been back? Long enough to notice something not right. So, you must have spoken with my mother about the danger that's coming our way. No. I saw you with Shango. I have it gone. A what? A piece of technology I collected from the future. It allows me to see everything from the sky. I did go to Shango's castle. Mother needs the both of you for what's about to happen. Why did you come to me first? I tried, but you were in the future collecting toys. Not toys, technology. Whatever. I finally see what's about to come. What might it be? Water vessels. I see them collecting our people by force. And there will be nothing we can do about it. What if we acquire assistance from Isha and Obatala? It's not gonna stop it, but Obatala is already aware. You mean Olodumari is allowing this? Yes, but Obatala requests to see all of us at once. Let's go see what he wants. Messenger came to deliver a message from Ogun. He said to meet him on the battlefield by sunrise and to bring your army. Tell the messenger to inform Ogun that I'll be waiting and to bring every toy he has. He's going to need them. Very well. You all here for a reason, but there's two of you missing. The king and the general are at war with each other. And you're the cause of it. And so are you. I saw your drops of honey around the castle. You are not innocent. Enough! Both of you. The two of you will take care of it. Get them here at once. So the two of you decide not to show up. So you deliberately disobeyed Odo Dumari's orders? There will be consequences for your actions. But for now, we have more important matters to discuss.
So what is the disturbance I feel through my waters? Water vessels that are called ships. Being controlled by people who look nothing like us. They come to collect some of the people by force. I can see it clearly. Yes, exactly as Orunula described. We have nothing to worry about. I'll strike lightning to every ship before they reach the shores. And I'll sink every vessel, pulling them to the bottom of the ocean floor. You two will do no such thing. You will stand down. Each one of you, stand down. I disagree. If we don't stop the problem at the roots, then it will grow to be more than we can handle. It's not often agree with Shango, but it's 100% right. Everyone be quiet. Let me explain. When I created the human body, I used the elements of fire, water, land, and air. They were put here to collect information through the experience of joy, pain, happiness, and sadness. The vessels are the vehicles that will be used to get them to the other lands. But in this process, there will be enslavements, torture, bloodshed, and unfair treatment. They will be stripped of their identities and given the identities of the people who enslaved them. My question is why? Why all the pain and suffering? Odo Dumari is building a new army and every human experiences good and bad will prepare them. But I already have an army. Ogun has an army. The diamond that you're wearing in your crown was once cold that went through a lot of pressure. Now look at it. It's unbreakable. And that's what this army will be. And what will this army be called? The ancestors. Each one of you will have a job to do. Oya, your win will get them to their destination. Yemoja, your waters will create the path to get them there. Olokun, you will collect the souls that are thrown off of the vessels and into the water. Oshun, you will heal the sick. And Eshu, you will use your tricks to lead them back to their path when they get off of it. What about me and Ogun? What is our job? Punish the guilty. Really? Wait, hold on. If we all had to be here, then what about Ochosi? Where is he? He went through the time machine. He's in the future. Oh, he gonna be a while. I broke the machine after he left. Eshu, I would not want to be you right now. Now that was a neat trick. Can you show me how that works? Sure. Anyone else want to see how it works? What was it that you wanted to speak with me about? I was thinking with everything that's happening, I have to make things right with Ogun. You took Oya from right under his nose, and now you have your eyes on Oshun? Wait, now how do you know all of this? I know you better than you know you. Make things right with Ogun. This is the biggest pile of rubbish that ever came out of your mouth. I have a warm spot in my heart for Oshun. And I'm sure there's a warm spot in your bed for her, too. Well, we all can't be as perfect as you. You watch your mouth when you speak to me in my presence. Show me some respect. Yes, sir. My apologies. For now, it's best to leave Ogun alone. 
you have bigger problems coming your way. Whatever this problem is, my lightning and fire will solve it. Obanani has completed her mission with her sisters. She's now on her way back to the castle. What will happen when she and Oya meets? That's one problem lightning and fire can't solve. Sir, why are you blocking the path? I need to get to the other side. I'm sorry, but I can't let you cross there. It's a strong wind on the other side. I don't see any wind. All I see is the bright sun and beautiful skies. Look, madam, don't believe everything your eyes see. There's a storm on the other side that you're not prepared for. Please, sir. I want to cross the path to warn my husband of the storm. Trust me, he's well aware of the storm. Well, when can I cross? Come back in three hours. You'll be able to cross then. Where are you headed now? And why can't I come along? I'm headed to meet with Ogun. I wanted to make things right between him and I. Look, things has gone far enough between Ogun and I. We must come together, especially with the problems we have coming our way. I'm not convinced. The gift that is wrapped has Ogun's name on it, not Oshun. I'm still not convinced. So what will it take to convince you that I'm not going there for Oshun? Make love to me before you go. I will drain all your energy leaving none for her. I'm too tired to go. I'll send one of the guards there to drop off the gift. Now I'm convinced. You go and relax, my king. I will get you some good pepper soup and a beer. may cross now, madam. Thank you, sir. I saw you issue. I saw what you did. I saw what I did too. I'm the one that did it. When will you grow up and stop this foolish behavior? See, I grew up, but the behavior will still continue. What you are doing to everyone is unfair. I'm going to inform Ogu and Shango of what you have done. I think you're stepping in a puddle. Look down! Issue, I'm sick of your games and tricks. Get me up from here. Your legs will return soon, but for now, I'ma leave you here to dry.
RJ, I come to you for a favor. What have you done now? Every time you need a favor, it's to clean up the mess you created. Oh, Goon's house caught on fire. I'm sorry to hear about Ogun's home, but I'm very busy. This also affects Oshun. What have you done to my friend? Why did you just mention her name? Ogun and Oshun are now together, so I burned down the house. Why would you do such a thing? Ogun is a bigger home. He needs more space to create more weapons and technology. I will grant the words that is needed, but I'm only doing this for Ocean. My king is happy, oh. I am happy, oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, back sooner than I expected. Aren't you happy to see me? Of course I am. I couldn't wait for you to get back. Who's that woman in our kitchen? Is she the new house girl? Her name is Oya and... She's standing right here. Shango, I must speak with you at once. For what? Is it Oshun? No, not at all. Oh, so you come to see the king. Before you get any ideas, I'm not interested. I just came to warn you, Ogun may be coming to attack you. Lately, that seems to be the morning routine. I guess he didn't like the gift that I got him. You mean the gift that set his home on fire? Wait, what are you talking about? Gift you gave him, Eshu switched it with his own, setting his home on fire. So Ogun think it was me who caused the fire? Yes, but no worries. I know it wasn't you. I saw Eshu with my own eyes. Oya, look, you don't like me and I don't care. I am the wife of the king and I'm not going nowhere. We will see about that. I am the queen of this castle and that purple crown on top of your big head belongs to me. You knew I was coming. You had an issue caused my delay. You know about that. I know every stone of this castle. I hear everything. My ear is very sharp. I have something sharp for your ear. Shango, where are you? You're not leaving me here with this winch. Not this time, Ogun. Why are you here? I came to fight by your side. Now is not the time. Do you see that chariot that Ogun has? It's made out of all iron. I will turn it upside down. My thunder and fire is no match. But good luck with your win. Let's lure him to the waters. That way I know he's not gonna risk getting that chariot wet. Then he has to come out. I saw everything that happened. It was not Shango, 
that set the fire to your home. It was Eshu. Look, those are the vessels. They are here. Are y'all thinking what I'm thinking? We were giving orders to stand down. You look for trouble, and so do I. We're already in trouble. Let's make it worth it. Oh yeah, what will happen if we put our powers together? Let's find out. I'll give you two barrels of beer if this chariot can sink that ship with one hit. Really? You all disobeyed the order that was given. You were told to stand down. And for that, your powers will be taken away. Don't take their powers away. Take mine. It was all my idea. Take mine too. I encourage him to do so. Relax. None of it was real. As you help me set this up. Why? I use my trick to bring everyone together. Then I could create the fake vessel, forcing you all to work together. Well then, can you explain to us why you trapped Ochosi in the future? We could have used his help. Our target is in the future, and he never misses a target. I have done what you asked of me, and in return, I want access to the crossroads. Sure, but I must warn you, some of these roads are unpleasant. I am well aware. I know what is coming. Olokon must make you aware. Yes, but I'm also a daughter of the water. I felt the vibrations. 